We're going to look at 2011 free response question number three, part B today. And this is, uh, you know, a graphical representation of what's going on. So here's the list of tanks in ours. We have 10. This, this is the index of each tank, and this is the value currently contained in the tank. Um, so we can reset the values um, over and over and kind of set up the, uh, the, the simulation again. So this problem asks you to finish the method called move to location uh, to tell the, the filler robot, this little guy represented in blue, to go to the location that uh, it should fill the next time. And so it identifies a location, tank 7, and then can move there. So let's do this. It'll identify tank 3. It should fill uh, tank at index 3. So that's the lowest tank it wants to fill. And it needs to move there. Great. So it does. And then we reset it and so on and so forth. All right. It's actually already at the tank that it needs to fill, so it doesn't need to move. And then we'll reset it again, and it needs to move to the zeroth. Anyway, so you see what's happening. The issue is that the robot can only move forward. And you're told that the robot sometimes is facing left, sometimes it's facing right, and you can get at that information with like uh, the method called is facing right, which returns whether or not it's facing right. So we need to use this to kind of uh, fill in the gaps. We just have to say basically what we're going to do is to say, all right, we need to get. Uh, we're given a number of spaces of of the. We're given the location that it's supposed to move to. So maybe we're told four. But the problem is if it's not facing right or if it's over here, we don't know how to get it to go to this spot. Uh, so we just have to a, a, account for both where it is and its direction. So uh, let's fill in the move to location thing. So we need to say if um, the filler robot, it's called filler, dot get current, loca uh, current index, excuse me, if it's greater than, if it's like to the right of, the um, the place we want it to move to, so we maybe are sent like you know we're sent the index of the tank to which the robot should move. So if it's to the right, we need to do one thing. Uh, if it's to the right and it's facing right, filler dot is facing right, then we need to turn it around because it, it needs to go to the left, right? Does that make sense? If the current index of it is greater than the location it needs to move to and it's facing the wrong direction. We gotta tell it to turn around. Filler dot change direction. And then once it's facing the correct direction, we can tell it to move. Move forward, because it's only able to move forwards. So filler dot move forward. But how many spots do we need to tell it to move forward? Well imagine the robot is at index six. So bring this back up. If the robot, let's see. Okay, if the robot is this isn't a great one either. Alright, here it is. So if the robot is at index 8, and it's facing left, which is our, the correct way it should be facing, which is great. It's facing left, and it needs to move to the fourth index. How, what is 8 A to 4? How many spots does it have to move? It moves 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. If it were in the ninth, it would have to move 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. So it's the location where the robot is minus the location of the tank that it needs to move to. So that's what we do. Uh, so we do the location of the robot, filler.get current location, current index, minus the location index to which we want it to move in this case. All right, great. That's uh, one case. We need to do another case, though. So we need to say if filler.get current index is less than the index. So if it's to the left of the location we want it to move to, the first thing we do is we check if the um, if the filler is not facing right. We want it to flip around. It's not facing the right direction. So we say filler, please change direction. And then uh, we tell it to move because uh, so we have to say filler dot move forward. But now in this case, how many spaces do we need to move? So imagine, let's just reset this until we get there. Oh, great, we got there. All right, so the filler is at, well, imagine this is facing right. But uh, the filler is at index 5, and we need it to move to index 9. So how do we get from 5 to 9? How many spaces is that? It's 1, 2, so we need to move 1, 2, 3, 4. Great. So that's the uh, current location, uh, The the I'm sorry, the index to which it, we needed to move 
minus five is four, right? So, okay, imagine if it were over here at three, uh, nine minus three, how many spots is one, two, three, four, five, six, that's nine minus three, that's six spots. Okay, so it's always the location to which we wanted to move minus its current location. Great, so we need to do um, loc index, which is the location we wanted to move to, minus filler dot uh, get current index. Um, and I believe that we are done with that method. So it's just kind of a, uh, you gotta sort of sort out the problem. It's not actually all that hard. It's just like if the robot's facing the wrong direction, flip it around and make it go that far. Which feels easy, but it's kind of tricky when you start putting it in code for the first time. All right.